Uh, nothing too crazy here. Just, you know, I was chilling. I was like, you know, I kind of want to keep the flame going. That's so all I was like. I just want to um, do a quick video. Just going over my channel. With my honest opinions on how I feel about it. You know, how far I come. My success. Stuff that I like, dislike, and changes that I want to make to it. Firstly, there is a video I must touch down on. This video speaks a lot to me. So, if we go back to, let's see. My fault, my laptop is bugging. This is crazy. I honestly should have had all this shit ready. <laughs> it's whatever, we're gonna get to it. Ain't no rush. If you're watching this video right now, you obviously wasn't doing shit, so let's keep it a bean. What what day was this video, bro? It says one year ago, but YouTube dates be lying. I don't know what's up with that shit. January 21st, 2022. I was sitting in the parking garage in Arden Mall in a green sweater. Here are my five goals right here. So, number one, of course, I, my number one goal for this year is to get my apartment as soon as possible didn't do that <laughs> it's good though you feel me that's why you set goals i really 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 think i can make this happen if i get the apartment and notice i numbered these um so i can say them in order to shut your ass up <laughs> said that i settled uh, i'll settle for two here we go. and i got that but you know i don't like to settle you know so i'm gonna raise the bar we ain't doing 300 no more we're doing five i need 500 subs by the end of this year and you know Stuff that is with me. Ah. All right, so 2021 of no, no, 2022 of January 21st. I was asking for 300 subscribers, guys, and here we are, September 13th, 2023, at 5:34. Just got two new subscribers today. What's up, y'all? Um, let me see if I get y'all names. I'll shout y'all out real quick. Oh, I'm lying. I'm on airplane mode. No distractions. <laughs> Yeah, I can't even upload. I mean, check my YouTube right now. Well, I might be able to access the notifications. Let's see if iPhone plays nice. Ooh. Yeah, sorry, guys. Y'all know who y'all are, though. If you just recently subbed to this channel. New subscribers, old subscribers, what's up? How y'all doing? Thanks for fucking with us. We're gonna keep the ball rolling. A couple other things I really like. I was talking about with the channel. You ever have one of those moments you, like, create something? And you just be like, damn, I did that. Yeah. I was looking at all my intros. I was comparing my intros to each other. I want y'all to drop in the comments which intro of mine was my best and what was your favorite. I'm gonna go to my first intro. I wanna say I used it for this video. Me personally, this intro was bad. Uh, open diff. <laughs> I don't miss that car at all. That was my first IS. You would think I would have some attachment to it. Bro, I have no attachment to that car. This one I got now. A whole different ball game. That car, I do not miss it at all. Not one day goes by, I don't regret selling it. That intro was so basic, bro. But I liked it back then because it was one of my first videos that I got captured on a high quality camera. Shout out to that boy RJ. I think he's still out there doing his uh, cinematic shit. Okay, so now this intro had two variants of this song. No, I'm sorry. Two variants of this intro using the same song. But one hit way harder. This is the first one right here. Oh no, it's hella funny. Actually, I had always seen Arthur car parked on my block, and then when I finally talked to that fool, we literally shot a literally shot a video the ne the very next day with RJ. Shit's pretty funny. Love you, kiddo. Hey, not gonna lie here, that song gave me goosebumps, bro. Bring back so many, so many fucking memories, bro. The cameos got upgraded, definitely. The car was a little bit more put together and complete, but well, RJ made made it happen. Like, let's see, that that video in particular right there, that video was four years ago. So let's say that what, what was that 2019? And I know I, I had different intros for when I did the lower league videos versus when I did my own videos. This would be a lower league video for sure. When Colin got his new car. Still has that car to this day. Not my fault. All right, here we go.
get the game, bro. That's crazy. That intro was cool. Again, thanks to Dom. If it wasn't for Dom's cameos, that intro would have been shit. That's 25 seconds. I normally try to keep intros between like 15 or less. And y'all probably wonder why I haven't been using my latest intro lately. The reason behind that is the whole thing again with Gimbu and how it ended, it's just at the end it has the Gimbu sticker on the jack. And it's kind of like Gimbu's not really a thing anymore. So it's kind of like, I just want to do something new for myself. As of right now, I don't have interest in a new intro. I kind of want to just save it for when I hit like another milestone, like like maybe like 600 or 1,000, something. I'll make a new intro for sure because they bring personality to the beginning of your videos. So just as of right now, I just don't know what direction I'm going with it. I want to keep that song. Y'all seem to love that song. And, um, I want to keep it, but you know, we, we never know what the future holds. I do something new, might keep it OG, we'll see. It's the other Lordly intro. That one was fire, bro. That was probably my personal favorite intro. I'm trying to find it real quick, guys. It might be on this video. I could be wrong. Oh, here we go. This intro went so hard, bro. Not even lying. This <laughs> shit. Oh, boy, Clara. Static. Is that routine, man? These are those fat ass beats, bro. Bro, that was a 43 second intro. Hella long, but totally worth it, right? Y'all might see what I did there. I incorporated all the clips I have from my own, from Steezy, and from Dom, and made it into one big thing. Because at the time, we were all close, man. Like, no love lost, no type, no, none of that type of shit. But we were just all close, man. Like, it was like every other night being seeing all of us together. Like, damn near 20 plus deep and shit. But yeah, bro. Just a lot of memories here on my channel. That's what I do this shit for. Keep it a bean, bro. I, I love making memories. Man. I actually had another intro too. This intro was kind of just specific to this video. I'm gonna keep it lit. Like this was never, the intro was never like planned. And I used it for a couple of my videos, but it was never uh, a permanent thing. It could be here. It has to be here. Yep. That's just cool, bro. But believe it or not, I don't hang out with none of them niggas no more. I think those are all my intros. Mainly the main purpose of this video is to capture, damn, like, look how far we really came, yo. I didn't realize, like, I've been doing this shit for, I'm not even gonna count these first couple videos where it says five years. I wanna say I started getting serious with it when I moved to SAC, for sure. But prior to that, the most videos I put out was starting at the, uh, the District 10 show in 2018. That was a pretty good run. Oh, bro, all right, so look, check this shit out, y'all. The Oregon video, right? I did something hella clean on uh, my boy Curtis's part when he was sliding, find it real quick. So the original song, I'll put the original song how it goes, and I'll put what I did on Curtis's part. Basically, I like fainted out the beat of the actual song. Cause that shit went crazy, bro. I was like, damn, I did that. That shit went hard, bro. So what I did, I drowned out the audio completely and let Curtis's motor fill in for it. So it was like, it was on beat, but it wasn't. Like, just a little subtle shit, bro. Run that back. It's crazy, bro. When I be editing, bro, this is my thing with editing, just how I look at editing. I was talking to my brother about this the other day. What you let influence you and inspire you. 
I think it's two different things. And I think a lot of people get that confused. Because a lot of the time I notice, like, I will always try to get my videos to look like my favorite content creator's videos. And it's like, I'm not going to be able to replicate that. I don't want to. What is that flashing, bro? I am no, I'm not crazy. Something keep flashing. You'll never be able to replicate your favorite content creators, your favorite YouTubers or whatever. You can only, like, get ideas from them and try to add it into what you do. But when it comes to editing, it has to be you. That's the only way it'll be felt and authentic. And I'm not going to say good because you can just have a style of editing that nobody can relate to or feel. And that's just, like, but at the end of the day, as long as you like it, that's all that matters. My favorite YouTubers right now are Night Ride. I watch a lot of Night Ride, and their videos look crystal clear and clean every time they can mix and incorporate <coughs> vlogging, excuse me, vlogging with cinematics, drifting, and it all comes together so smooth. And it's just like, damn, I was trying to do that, but I just couldn't really pick one direction or one thing to stick to. So when I started doing, I was just like, you know what? As I edit, I don't ever want to edit with with um, a plan. As I go, the first idea I get, I do it. It's like, in my eyes, it gets no more authentic than that. You're literally going with your first what mind. Y'all seen that? Fl something's flashing. But like I was saying, go with your first mind. That's the most authentic you can get with yourself. And my videos, I noticed for me at least, have a lot more replay value now because they capture off guard shit. Nothing on my channel is really predictable. And that's what I love. Okay, I hear the thunder now. We're we gonna, we gonna be wrapping this up. Go at your first mind. Stop trying to be everybody else, be yourself. Looking at my channel now, bro, it's crazy just seeing how I went from vlogging from a phone. From, bro, with the first phone I started vlogging from, I. <laughs> that shit get closed, bro. I legit think it was a, um, a iPhone SE, bro. Then there, iPhone 5. And I moved up from 5 to 7, 7 to 7 plus, and 7 plus to 12 pro. So I did some jumping around, but looking at my videos when it went from just phone to me getting the camera, not knowing how to use the camera or mess with the colors or none of that, to how it is now and how my pictures and videos are coming out. My thumbnails are changing. It's just like, it's all progressive. And always remember that slow progress is better than no progress. Stick to the plan, y'all. But yeah, um, that's really all I wanted to talk about tonight. Like I said, nothing too crazy. Got a cool 21 minute video out of this, but you know, I'ma chop it down. But yeah, um, again, thank all of you for staying committed to the channel, even through all my own difficulties and just life. You know, sometimes stuff slows down. Sometimes I'm on the gas with it, like I'm trying to be now. That's why I'm out here filming. Again, thank you. Again, new subscribers. It's flashing, it's getting crazy. I'm about to go in the house. New subscribers, thank you. I hope you guys enjoy the channel. Just, you know, browse through the channel, look at some old videos, some new videos, and if you like it, stick around, share it, you know, but if it ain't for you, then I mean, hey, no love lost, just find someone else. <laughs> the OGs, see y'all, bro. We approaching 600, road to 1K. Let's get it. Love y'all, thank you. Uncle and the ghost, he really hustled for that. And there's some people that I love that's never loving me back. I always give what ain't returned. I've been like this since birth, can't see the flame until it burned. I'm doing all these favors, somehow I still got haters. Embrace every mistake, cause if I don't, then I can't learn. Is this the song to blow up? Is this my crown to hold up? I never asked for nothing, I just needed you to show up, and you did it. But I showed up for you, so I don't get it. But everybody not the same, everybody not the same.